J. Micah Hancock here with an All Israel History video. The name Palestine has been used to refer to this region between the Mediterranean Sea and the Jordan River since ancient times, with the first clear use dating back to the 5th century BC in the writings of Herodotus. Herodotus calls the modern day area of Israel Syria Palestina. Palestine was an official Roman and Byzantine province for over 500 years. Later, under the early Islamic rule, the region was known as Jund Philistine, demonstrating the continuity of the Palestine designation. Throughout the Middle Ages, the term Philistine remained in use by some Arab historians and geographers to refer to this area. The 17th century Palestinian scholar Khair al-Din al-Ramli from the city of Ramle used Philistine to refer to his homeland. In the late Ottoman period, the region was reconfigured into the Jerusalem Sanjak and the districts of Nablus and Acre, often collectively referred to as Palestine by officials, writers, and cartographers. Palestinian identity solidified in response to Zionist immigration in the early 20th century, as evidenced by the Philistine newspaper and the Palestinian Arab Congress. However, some arguments could be made that challenge the depth and continuity of the Palestinian identity. First, while the name Palestine was used to refer to the region for over 2,000 years, this does not necessarily equate to a single, continuous national identity. The area was ruled by many different empires and experienced significant population shifts over that time. Neither Herodotus nor any ancient author ever refers to the inhabitants of Syria Palestina as Palestinians. Even the name Palestine used by Herodotus, Palestina in Greek, does not appear to be etymologically related to the word for the Philistines used in the oldest Greek text of the Bible, the Septuagint, which is Philistien. In fact, the name Palestine refers to be etymologically related to the Greek word for wrestler, palestes. Scholar David Jacobson argued that this name was both a transliteration of a variation for the name Philistia, as well as a direct translation of the name of Israel, Israel, which in Hebrew means he wrestles with God, which God gave to Jacob in Genesis 32. Before the 20th century, primary identities in the region were often religious, Muslim, Christian, Jewish, or based on family rather than nationalistic. The peasant majority had limited engagement with concepts of national identity. Palestinian national consciousness truly crystallized in the 20th century in response to British colonialism and Jewish immigration to the land. Institutions like the Palestine Arab Congress and the Palestinian Liberation Organization were 20th century creations. Even Abd al-Wahhab al-Kaili's relatively well-researched and organized Tarikh Filastin Hadith, The Modern History of Palestine in 1970, begins his narrative of the Palestinian people in 1882. During the British Mandatory Palestine era, Jews often referred to themselves as Palestinian, while the Arab residents preferred to call themselves Arabs. Thus, the newspaper The Jerusalem Post was founded as the Palestine Post. Palestinian identity is a modern reaction to Zionism which is the belief that the Jews should have their own homeland in their historic land. It would not exist in its current form otherwise. Its roots are shallower than the Zionist claims for Jewish identity in the land. One of the oldest apparent references to Palestinians as a people of this land appears to be in German traveler Paul Fleischmann's Das Heilige Land in Wort und Bild, the Holy Land in word and picture. He uses it to refer to the people living in the land irregardless of their ethnicity. The oldest Arab use of the word for Palestinian, for Arabs living in the land, appears to be the Arab writer Khalil Bedas from Nazareth. During his travels in Russia, Bedas came under the influence of Russian nationalists like Fyodor Dostoevsky and Lev Tolstoy. He returned and began to write against Jewish settlement and the Zionist movement in the land. The region's borders and demographics shifted frequently, with the area at times incorporated into larger provinces of Syria or Egypt, 
and a uniquely Palestinian political identity was not consistent through the centuries. When a Palestinian identity is formed under the British Empire, it is used to describe both Jews and Arabs in mandatory Palestine. Israeli Prime Minister Golda Meir once said that she is a Palestinian, suggesting that this identity refers to something entirely different than an all-Arab designated state. Until the 20th century, there was almost no phenomenon of Arabs identifying as Palestinians. The first time that Arab leaders began to adopt the name Palestinian to refer to the Arab community within the historical land called Palestine came after the Jewish inhabitants won the war for independence in 1948 and changed the name of the land from Palestine back to the biblical name of Israel. The citizens thus began to call themselves Israelis and stopped calling themselves Palestinians. About a decade later, noting the availability of the word, Arab leaders like Yasser Arafat began to use the word to identify people rather than territory. The name of his political party, Fatah, Harakat al tahir al-Watani in Philistine, originally referred to the liberation of Palestine the land. Only later did he begin to refer to the Palestinian people. In summary, while the elements of Palestinian identity have a long history tied to the name and geography of Palestine since ancient times, the notion of a unified national identity is more recent, developing primarily in the 20th century in response to Zionism. This has been J. Micah Hancock with All Israel News. Thank you for joining us for this important and controversial topic. As always, Join us for all the latest news from Israel at allisrael.com.